Hello all you Wombat Wallies and welcome to Wombat Review where we review games old and new, big and small. And today we're going to review a rather chilled out RPG game where you run your own shop. It's time for a PC and mobile game in Shop Titans. This game is a rather unusual take of the RPG format. The graphics are nice on the eyes and cartoony and the background music in the shop is quite calming and peaceful. Your character, which you can customise, is a shopkeeper, where you essentially decorate your shop and sell many different weapons and armour. How do you get more weapons and armour? Your workers help craft them for you, and the further you go on, the better weapons and armour you can create. Now you always get heroic customers coming back and forth into your shop, but that's how you make your money, as you can discount and surcharge customers, which sends your merchant energy up and down depending on the options you choose. But it's not just selling weapons and armour, oh no. You can also have your own heroes and champions which you can send off for questing and equip them with the strongest weapons and armour that you've made. I'm going to be honest with you here guys, the paywalls in this game are awful. Unless you have $70 or £70 lying around somewhere, then you won't be able to craft some items which would be a lot harder to obtain any other way. Also guys, unless you have a really powerful mobile, it tends to slow down when you're playing it on mobile. It is much easier to play this game on PC. I must be honest I've had a hard time thinking of what to score this game because it has a lot of potential. But at this point in time I'm going to give the PC and mobile version a 7 out of 10. I'm not going to lie, it's a fun little game. But they need to seriously reevaluate how much they're charging people for the add-ons. I'm going to give you guys an honest question which you can answer in the comments down below or simply keep it to yourself. Would you spend $70 or pounds unlocking all the extra crafting options in this game? Or would you spend $70 or pounds buying two brand new AAA games? And that is all for now guys, if you enjoyed this review, give me a high five and subscribe. For now, keep being awesome, and keep on gaming.